Hey guys, Will here with Cray Studio, and in this video, we're gonna go over how to add and remove scenes from within your projects. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in here. Let's open up our Lightning Builder, and let's go ahead and choose standard 16 by nine, and let's choose from our scene options here. Let's choose this modern real estate section. Now let's narrow it down for my opener. Let's go with this guy for our about us. Let's choose this scene right here. Let's add some content, and I like this services page. Let's add a review real fast. So we'll add that scene to it, and a call to action. Let's add this, let's work together scene. Now see how fast and easy it is to add these scenes inside Lightning Builder. Now I'm gonna add some transitions between the slides. And let's go ahead and choose this bounce down. And if I click back in here, I can make sure I apply that to all of my scenes. Click off of it, so that should be applied. Now let's go ahead and go to the editor. Now it does give me the option. Let's choose some music. Let's choose this minimal track. And then once it's finished downloading there, it will start creating the project for us in a pretty fast and efficient way. All right, so now what I can see is I've got this scene already laid out inside my session for me. I've got my intro, I've got my about us, our um, services, review, and our let's work together. All right, so now let's say there's different scenarios here, right? So what if it's, I wanna add more scenes or what if I wanna take away a scene and then replace it with the other one, right? So let's do two scenarios here. All right, so let's say for this, uh, this call to action at the end, I don't like it, right? I wanna replace it. So I'm saying, you know what, I'm just gonna delete it and let's look for a new one. So what I can do is I can click on scenes right here next to the cut icon, open it up and say, get scenes. All right, so now I can go back down to my modern real estate section and I can go to my, um, to my categories here and I can choose call to action, right? So now I can say, you know, instead of this let's work together one, I wanna do this, let's, let's find a dream house, right? So I can download that guy. Once it downloads, I can then add the scene and the scene has been added to my list there so I can kind of close this guy and you'll see there it is right there. So now I can drag this down right here into this track here right above and then line it up uh, properly. And then I can also go in here and make sure that my, um, my initial bounce down is still there or I can choose a different transition altogether, right? So let's just go ahead and do this circle zoom for that one. All right, so now if I come through, you'll see it comes in and now that one plays. So that's how quickly and easy it is to add and re or to replace um, your scenes inside of your projects, right? So now let's say I just wanna add some more, right? Maybe I wanna add something between the call to action and my review. Maybe I wanna add two reviews, right? So what I can do is I can go back to my scenes. I can say get scenes and let's go back to my categories here and let's go to reviews. And you know what? Let's, let's download this one and this one because I don't really know which one I wanna use. Let's go ahead and add those scenes and add that one there. So now I can close you'll see that here are my two reviews. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this one in right here on top. And I'm gonna delete this old review and let's bring this one in to about right here and let's add that end scene there. And then again, my transitions will stay where they're at and I'll keep that transition the same. So now when I come in, I can come in, I've got my new review and I've got my new call to action, right? So very fast and efficient in terms of replacing your scenes um, inside of your projects in Create Studio 3. So you can then quickly build this out to customize it to your own and have great projects and keep focusing on creativity. All right, so one more thing you wanna make sure to do once you've got all these scenes updated is make sure you go down to your music and make sure you drag it out so that it is the length of, or it plays out a little longer than your scenes, right? So you may need to adjust the music to, to, to play out for the length of your, your session, right? So. Sometimes you start adding scenes and your music gets cut off. Um, so you need to, to pull it out and make sure that you have the right amount of music to match the right amount of your track. So if I come on here, this is where it starts to, to go out. All right, just another quick tip to kind of help your projects move along smoothly. All right, hopefully you got some really cool quick tips out of this. Can't wait to see what y'all create. I'll catch you on the next tutorial.